Scottish city Glasgow once held a grim title, the murder capital of Europe. But homicides in the city have fallen by 60% in just over a decade, all thanks to a radical approach, treating violence as a disease. Here's how Scotland is curing violent crime. Growing levels of alcohol abuse, unemployment and inequality between the 1980s and early 2000s had contributed to a social crisis in Scotland. By 2005, the crime rate had reached its highest levels in a decade and the United Nations released a report which named Scotland as the most violent place in the developed world. But it was in Scotland's largest city, Glasgow, where the problem was most severe. This high concentration of gang violence had pushed Glasgow's murder rate almost three times higher than the rest of the country. But in 2005, in response to the growing crisis, Glasgow's regional police force set up the Violence Reduction Unit, or VRU. It became the only police force in the world to take a public health approach to violence. That meant treating violence as a preventable disease rather than just as a criminal matter. But as well as helping people break free from violence, the VRU has also advocated for stronger penalties for those who continue on a path of crime. Through lobbying, the penalty for carrying a knife in Scotland has tripled in 10 years. By 2006, Scotland had extended the work of the VRU nationwide, and during the following decade, violent crime fell by 49%, including murders, which were reduced by 47%. These dramatic reductions have helped to ease the burden on the Scottish healthcare system, with hospital emergency assault admissions down by 56% since 2007. And the benefits of a reduced crime rate are economic too. Each homicide case in the UK is estimated to cost the taxpayer $2.3 million, which is more than the cost of running the VRU for an entire year. 